You're going to open up the file. Now, I will say on some computers, if your graphics card is having issues, this may not work. Some of the graphics cards have been known, if they're an older card, to have some uh, possible problems, especially if you're using a laptop, maybe with an integrated graphics card. You might experience some problems uh, with this. I've known students that have had this problem over the years, and it's kind of frustrating, but you can still do uh, most of the work, more than likely, for this chapter, even if your graphics card won't handle this one very well. Now we're going to use the perspective warp feature, which is a two-step process, defining the planes and then adjusting them. We're first going to start out with the layout mode, drawing quads to define two or more of the planes. Now it's a good idea to align the edges of the quad so that they're parallel with the lines of the original object. Then you'll switch to the warp mode and manipulate the planes that should be defined. First, we can go ahead and save this file, as is our practice, as working.psd. Make sure the train layer is selected, which it is. And the tracks are on the background layer, which they are in the background. Now if you look closely, notice this little icon right here. This train is a smart object feature, and that's important. If it wasn't already a smart object, we could right click and we can go to create a smart object. But it is already converted to a smart object. So with the train layer, we're going to go to edit. We'll go down to Perspective Warp. It'll show up a little animated schedule showing you kind of how this works, and that might be helpful to you if it helps you to watch it. Then go ahead and close that form. Now we're going to create the quads to define the planes of the train image. So draw the quad for the side of the train. like that. An idea of the angle or perspective where this train is coming in. About like that. Now that they have attached together, they're touching. That's great. Now we can go ahead and drag the corners to match the angles of the train. The next step, now that we've signaled our quads, is go to the warp setting on the options bar, click warp, and this is where the magic happens. So I want to go ahead and click the automatically straighten near vertical lines. Then I'm going to go ahead and create my pen tool here to warp my train to fit the tracks. Now that does a pretty good job of making it fit the tracks. So you just adjust your pins to make it fit in what appears to be a natural looking formation and let go. Now all the parts of the train now are appearing to actually fit onto the track. Really a lot of times you just have to trust your eyes to get it right. Some of the automatic tools will help, but they're not going to do a perfect job. When you're satisfied with the way it looks, you need to commit that selection. Go to the arrow key and hit Commit Perspective Warp, or hit the Enter key on the keyboard. And that change is now complete. Now as we started, remember this is a smart filter, which is because it is a smart object. So we can actually come up to my Perspective Warp feature, and I could go ahead and re-edit that if I wanted to, if I made a mistake. Double click on this Perspective Warp, and I continue to make changes after the fact tomorrow next year, next millennium, whenever you come back to this file and make it look good or make it look, oh, it's going to crash. Oh, it looks like some type of cartoon squishing together. Uh, make it look good if that's what you chose. Make it look appropriate. And then go ahead and recommit it. And I have selected my second option, made a few tweaks because I maybe wasn't happy with the first. And because of the smart object, it's now able to have the smart filter and have it edited into the future. Let's so go ahead and save your file. And you're done with Chapter 5. Congratulations.
Thanks for watching Better Picks in just a few clicks. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos on how to take your photography to the next level.